Hello, my name is Karim, and I'll be giving a presentation on our paper, Should We Consider the Users in Contextual Music Auto-Tagging Models? This works is collaboration between Telecom Paris and uh, Deezer. And to start, we have a question. Is it important to consider the target user when auto-tagging tracks, specifically in the case of contextual tags? But first, we need to clarify what we mean by auto-tagging, and what do we mean by contextual tags? Auto-tagging is a problem of tagging a given audio track with the corresponding correct uh, tags. The given audio track could be either in a raw audio format or could be uh, in a format of a pre-computed millispectrogram. We train an audio auto-tagging model and then we want this model to predict the correct tags. These tags could be either genre, instruments, or moods, among a lot of other things. In our case, we are focusing on the case of contextual tags. What are contextual tags? Contextual tags are tags that describe the listening situation of the user, for example, the location, the activity, or the time. These contexts strongly influence the listening preference of the user, but different users have different preferences for each context. We can see this clearly in the playlists that are created by the users. We find users creating playlists for a specific context where the title reflects this context, and the creator of the playlists have different preferences for each context and different contexts have different preferences for each user. So what is our proposed approach? Our proposed approach is first, we need to collect a data set of the tracks where different users have different contextual use of each of these tracks. Following this, we want to train two auto-tagging models, one using only the audio content and one using the audio plus some sort of user information. And finally, we want to evaluate these two different models using user-focused evaluation protocols to um, evaluate the satisfaction of the different users using the um, uh, predicted tags. So how do we collect the data set? Uh, that's easy, we already know the answer, through the user-created playlists. We already indicated that different users create playlists, and the title of the playlist usually indicates the contextual use. We already know the creator of the, uh, of the playlist, and we have the set of tracks that is included in this playlist. We have different playlists with different contexts, different users, and different tracks. Using this, we can collect a data set. Our data set have different tracks and user pairs, and for each user track pair, we have the contextual use of this uh, user track pair. Now we have a data set. The next thing is what is our proposed model. Our proposed model is based on an already existing audio-based model, which is a convolutional neural network applied in the millispectrogram. It's a well-performing model in the auto-tagging uh, task uh, by Choi. Our proposal is to add another branch that considers the user as input. And in our case, we consider the user as an input in the form of user embeddings. These user embeddings are computed through the matrix factorization of the user track listening history. Now we have two models, only the audio branch and the user plus audio branch. We train these two models in our collected data set and then we compare the performance. And there are a lot of different evaluation protocols we use. They will only show one for briefly here. And we find that the audio plus user model outperforms the audio model in all different evaluation metrics that we have. Our conclusion from this experiment is we do need to consider the users in the case of contextual auto-tagging. Uh, this was a brief uh, introduction of the paper. There are a lot of different things that uh, we can discuss either in the uh, poster session or if you read the paper and you want to contact me. Thank you.